My name is Alison Covington and I'm the founder and managing director of Good360. Good360 is a matchmaker. We connect the businesses brand new goods to schools and charities to help Australians in need. I started Good360 in 2015 when I noticed there was a gap in the marketplace here in Australia because nobody was actually solving the problem for businesses. I had discovered in the US Good360 had been operating for over 30 years and they had been matching surplus brand new non-perishable goods at scale. So for over $7 billion worth of goods had been matched at that stage to around 40,000 charities. And I couldn't figure out what was happening here in Australia. We were really good at food waste, but we hadn't actually been matching up non-perishable goods. And I was really interested to see what was happening here in Australia. And because it wasn't, I started Good360. And in this time, we have been donating since 2015, $100 million worth of brand new goods, and matched 10 million items to over 1,600 charities and disadvantaged schools. So I went to the US to discover how to do this well. And they were very kind to give us their systems so that we could do this in Australia. During this 2015 to now, we've been trying to work out what the size of the problem is in Australia. And it's very difficult to understand that we are really good with food waste and understanding that problem, but we've discovered some information that says the size of the problem here for non-perishable waste is probably around $1.92 billion worth of brand new items go to waste each year in Australia. And that's phenomenal. That's a lot of product and a lot of need of businesses to have that problem solved. So we wanted to create a simple solution to be able to help businesses and match their needs to charities and schools, to be able to help Australians access these brand new goods. So that's why we created Good360. In terms of the number of charities here in Australia, there's over 56,000 charities registered in Australia. And we work with charities of all sizes and all causes. So that can be charities um, who are grassroots through to the big name brand charities that you know. So that could be the Salvos, Vinnies, Red Cross, so brands that you know, but also importantly, it's the brands that you don't know. So we give them access to our big brand businesses who needed that solution. So we work with businesses like Big W, L'Oreal, Harvey Norman. So these businesses now can share their goods with many charities. So we work with over 1,600 charities and schools, not-for-profits. And that's the great thing is that the big businesses or the big charities that you know get access to the goods, but many of the small charities, not-for-profits and schools also get access to goods um, that they can use to help people in their communities. And that's really important because, you know, hearing back from our not-for-profits is they didn't know how to knock on the doors of these big brands and get access to those goods that are making a real difference to the communities that they're working with. And that's really important is that we're sharing these goods to many, many charities and communities. So I think that's the thing that um, makes me really passionate about what we're doing is giving more goods to more communities and for these businesses it's really important to their staff that they're being able to give goods to the communities where they're working and living. So to tell you more about how we do this um, because it seems very simple just to match the goods to the charities um, and when I first started that you'd think oh that's a very simple um, thing that we're going to do here in Australia um, but it's actually very complex to do it and to do it well. So we have what we call an alternative distribution channel to make sure that the goods get to the right people at the right time. And so we do this in many ways. So we have an online system 
So we have an e-commerce platform. So our charities register with us and they get access to our e-commerce system. So it's like online shopping for charities. So we get the goods, we can bring them into our warehouse here in Sydney and they go online and the charities can shop 24 seven to get the goods in the right quantities that suit them. It is bulk. So it can be in cartons, can be in pallets or truckloads, and they can be sent nationally across the country to our members. We also offer a service where they can do click and collect. So they can come to our warehouse and they can pick up those goods as well. Um, so that suits members who are close by in Sydney. But then we sort of said, well, what do we do for members who are not close by? So we partner with our donors to say, could we have goods picked up direct from your store? So we implemented a program with Big W. We pioneered this in Australia to say, could members come and collect good from your store? So that's a local store program where charities, schools can go to the stores and pick that up directly from our partner stores. Um, so we have through Big W 180 stores where charities can go and pick up stock directly from their stores. And that's been really, really popular because those charities are local to those stores and the goods are going back into the communities where those staff members work and live. And I think that's really important because it's created those relationships between over 300 charities have now been connected to those stores and they're local to those stores and have created connections that are really important between the staff members and those local communities to make sure product is going back into those local areas, which is fantastic. Um, then we also offer truckload methods. So sometimes we want to put large volumes of goods into areas um, interstate um, and we partner with people who have warehousing to send large volumes of goods um, and we can partner with some of our charity partners um, and land those goods into their warehouse and then redistribute them to many other charities in that local area. Um, to, that reduces the cost of getting the goods out there and it's a collaboration between charity partners to make sure everybody's getting access to the goods at low cost. And then we also partner with our donors to say, can we send goods direct from their distribution centres and send that direct to our charities? So we, we work on logistic methods that actually reduce the carbon footprint, so it's good for the environment, but also look at where is the stock and how could we get that directly to communities without double handling it so that we're getting the most effective distribution channels into the communities where it's needed. And I think that's really important because it's all about what's good for the communities and what's also good for the environment. And that's what we're all about, is making sure that we're doing that um, that's effective in using innovation and technology um, and working with our business partners and our charities to listen to what people need. We partner with Big W who have 183 stores nationally to connect their surplus stock charities and schools to help their communities locally. Good360 is a matchmaker. We connect the spare goods of businesses with Australians who need them most. This year we rolled out the local store program that connects businesses spare goods at their retail stores with charities. Jess, can you tell me about the program that we did with Big W? Absolutely. So in the last year, our local store donation program has connected over 3 million items from 183 Big W stores to over 300 charities Australia-wide. Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm from Big W here at Doncaster. We've had a really exciting day here today. We've been able to donate some of our excess stock. It's been an honour to be working with Good360. With each program, charities come directly to our dock and pick up the goods. My name's Chris, I'm the Executive Officer of The Bridge in Preston and Thornbury. We've had a membership with Good360 for a number of years now where we've managed to get a lot of donated goods which has been fabulous. Most of our people who come along are not only vulnerable because of their financial situations but they're very socially isolated. So I know that amongst the items that we've just picked up there's going to be some wonderful gifts for some of our people. 
My name's Carolyn Webster and I'm the manager here at the Kensington Neighbourhood House. We have quite a diverse population, a lot of people from non-English speaking backgrounds, a lot of socially disadvantaged people. We also run childcare downstairs. We provide a really sort of warm, welcoming environment. It's really about looking who's in our community and, and what their needs are and how best placed we are to respond to that. Good360 put out a call out if anybody can collect donations from Big W stores in Melbourne just to put in an expression of interest. There's a Big W in the CBD so they said yep great we'll match you with that. To see partnerships between bigger organisations brokered via Good360 where goods that aren't really needed by other people are so in need in the community and it's great to see the support in bringing this initiative together so thank you. In our local store donation program, Good360 connects not-for-profits and eligible schools with retail stores in their local areas. This allows these not-for-profits to collect surplus stock from these stores to give to their communities and Australians who need it most. We're really proud to have pioneered this successful program with Big W. If you're a retailer and you'd like to do this program with Good360 and you have surplus goods, we have pre-vetted not-for-profits and eligible schools who need these goods. So please reach out to Good360 and we'll help you. So a lot of people always ask us, how are we funded? Um, Good360 is a charity as well, um, and I think that's a really important question to understand. Um, so Good360, when we started back in 2015, so um, I was from corporate land, I wasn't from the charity sector, so it was always very interesting to figure out, you know, how were we going to start this enterprise? How were we going to start a charity that needed a lot of technology? Um, that needed logistics capabilities um, and we needed to know how we were going to get up and running. Um, so we were very fortunate, or it probably wasn't fortunate, it was a lot of meetings and discussions that we were able to reach out to some philanthropic funders um, and ask for some funding to get started because it was a really great idea. Um, it was unique in Australia and we needed some funding to get up and run and start the technology. Um, and we had funding for over three years from the some philanthropic funders, $1.5 million. Um, and then we also reached out to Goodman, um, who were very generous to give us warehousing space and office space as well. And they continue to be a founding um, partner of ours. But funding for Good360 is a constant challenge. Um, because, you know, in the charity world, um, seeking fundraising funds is very competitive. Um, and we are quite transactional. Um, we're not necessarily a very emotive charity. So in the world of fundraising, charities um, have very big marketing teams and are very good at fundraising dollars, um, especially if they have a very emotive cause, whereas we are very transactional about making good happen um, and we forget to actually talk about that and we're so busy with our impact. Um, we're very good at telling you that, you know, we've done $100 million worth of goods and it's 10 million items because we're so busy doing the good, um, we forget to actually tell anybody about that. Um, and that's something that we, you know, we're going to look at more closely over the coming years um, to say that we do need to raise funding. And we're talking to our corporate partners about how they could actually support the good work that we're doing because it is very good for the planet. It is very good. It's, it's a very environmental story that we've got to share. Um, and we're sure that, um, that many of their consumers, many of their customers would really appreciate the good work that they're doing as well. Um, and it's just, it, it's one of those things that nobody knows about and you can't unknow it once you realise. So we come back to the story that we all know about food waste and we're all up in arms that we must do more about that. But one of the things that, you know, with Good360, when you do discover that businesses do have excess goods, um, you can't unhear it and you can't unknow it. And we just need more Australians to know that we're here helping solve that problem and we need support from more people to be passionate about it with us. So I've told you a lot about Good360 and I think to help bring it to life, I'd like to show you a short video that we did in collaboration with the Royal Agricultural Society. Um, we wanted to donate products to the drought affected areas. So through Royal Agricultural Society, we um, prepared this short video to show the impact of what Good360 does.
The Royal Agricultural Society Foundation is the charitable arm of the Royal Agricultural Society of New South Wales. The role of the Royal Agricultural Society is to run the Sydney Royal Easter Show and during the show we had Thank a Farmer Day. We raised $40,000 on the day and that money that was then passed on to the foundation so that we could run the kitchen drive out to regional and rural Australia. Good360 is a matchmaker. We connect the brand new surplus goods of business with Australians who need them most. Recently we received a fantastic donation from Rockpool Dining Group. It was over 33 pallets of kitchenware which included crockery and glassware. We've been able to package up all these wonderful kitchen appliances that are going out to dozens of regional communities. It's going to enable them to raise money and hold functions and bring the community together. The people out in the country really understand and appreciate how much uh, these goods will give to families that are doing it tough. We held a Christmas party last year and distributed everything and distributed stuff out to the wider community and it was great to see the smiles on the kids' faces and their parents. We were then oversubscribed. Um, the need was greater than what we could supply, so we contacted Good360 again, and they contacted one of their donors, Trenton International, and they were able to fill in the gap and provide an extra 7,000 units of goods. We're so happy to be a part of this amazing collaboration. We didn't want any kitchen to miss out on getting what they need. It hasn't been an easy task to bring this all together. There's been a lot of collaboration between us, the Royal Agricultural Society, Sydney Royal Easter Show, and Good360. We know how tough they're doing it out in these areas and um, we are trying to do our little bit to help those communities. It's tough out in the bush. It's an ageing community that are involved in the local shows and the societies and this is going to give them a bit of a leg up and hopefully um, will allow them to raise some additional funds for their communities for the years to come. We're so proud to partner with the Royal Agricultural Society um, and the many businesses that we do partner with in these types of projects. It is a collaboration um, and we do really get goosebumps because you know we are sometimes a little bit removed from the work that we do but when we get to actually see the good we do and the lives that we're affecting um, it is a really very special moment. Um, here in Australia you know we are the lucky country um, but there are many Australians who need our help um, and it is through collaboration through our business partners. Um, we have some fantastic brands who we are really, really proud to partner with. Um, they always step up and lend a hand to be able to do this fantastic work. Um, so our business partners who, like Big W, um, Moose Toys and Rockpool, who donated those fantastic goods in that video, um, it is really wonderful to see businesses do, do such wonderful work here in Australia. And then we have so many, um, as I told you before, our not-for-profits and eligible schools. Um, there are over 4,600 eligible schools who can join our program and I think you know that's really exciting to see the benefit that we can do nationally here in Australia um, and these schools you know are at the core of these communities um, and they do help many students and their families and as you probably heard in the media the drought has been happening for a very long time here in Australia and will continue to do so and it is the goods that we can get into these communities that do have these life-changing moments so we are really proud to play our role and to be a collaborator in these types of projects. So Good360, um, as I mentioned, we started out in 2015 um, with a few people and we're starting to grow each year um, and we're very proud of the growth that we're having and, um, you know, we're making a real difference and we're scaling quite fast. For a charity, you know, you look at us like in, in the startup world, we're making significant difference and our growth numbers are are fantastic. You can see that, you know, in, in such a short time to go from, you know, 2016 where we were doing five, six million to 2019, businesses are now donating $42 million worth of goods. That is significant growth in anybody's 
um, business. Um, for a not-for-profit like ourselves, we're very proud of that. Um, and as you can see, what we've delivered to charities um, in 2016, in our inaugural year, it was $2 million worth of goods. And now we're almost at $40 million worth of goods four years later. So our team are doing amazing amount of work. Um, and it's a very small team. It's around 15 people are getting almost $40 million worth of goods out nationally um, to very hardworking charities and schools. Um, and of course, they come back to that's a collaboration. That's because we partner with fantastic businesses and we partner with fantastic charities and schools. And we use, <coughs> excuse me, we use fantastic technology that we've invested heavily into and we're using um, great logistic systems. Um, and, you know, last year we were very, very proud um, to celebrate our major milestone. Um, and I think, you know, just taking that moment to reflect and, you know, I think all businesses, and I encourage you to do the same, should reflect when you do have a major milestone and just take a moment to look back on that. Um, and we did have that opportunity to do that at 100 million last year. One of our fantastic charities, um, Salvation Army, is in this short video um, just saying a few words and I'd like to share that with you. So hello, I'm Anne from the Salvation Army Territorial Headquarters down in Melbourne. I'm the Partnership Coordinator. And we have a wonderful relationship with Good360. The Salvation Army has benefited in so many different ways through the support of their donors. We are able to distribute goods out to vulnerable people in the community. Thank you, Good360. You are awesome. In just over four years, um, we have our impact here to talk to. Um, and you can see that, as I said, it's over $100 million of goods now donated from businesses in Australia, which is, you know, we're very proud of that number. We know we can still do a lot more. As I said, you know, the numbers are growing very fast. We're at 40 million just in the last year, and we expect that number to keep growing year on year. Um, in terms of boxes packed, you know, it's over 200,000 boxes and over, you know, almost 10.5 million items we have delivered to Australians that need them most. Um, and that number is very exciting to me because I think, you know, if I didn't stop what I was doing and if I didn't know what I know now, what if I didn't, if I continued on my normal business, if I didn't start Good 360, those 10.5 million items wouldn't be in the hands of these Australians who need them. Um, so every month when those numbers tick over, I keep thinking that, you know, if I hadn't just continued to say that I have to do this and then grab so many more people to come on this journey with me, um, those 10.5 million items wouldn't be there to share. Um, so that's a really exciting um KPI that I'm always tracking because that's very personal to me to know that I'm physically giving those to somebody, a fellow Australian who needed them. Um, we are a national organisation, um, so we track that we do get goods to all parts of Australia. And interestingly, we used to always look at the different states because it was very heavily on the east coast in New South Wales um, and ACT, Victoria, Queensland, and we were very worried about WA and Northern Territory not getting their share of the good. Um, and we sort of started to track other e-commerce and retail businesses and realised that their statistics were very similar. And that's the pattern of where we as a population of Australians live. So that's why um, the goods are going where we live as a population. But we still make sure that we get the goods to more remote communities and we have some very successful stories of goods going into remote communities in Northern Territories and Indigenous communities. And one that we share all the time is with the Bodhi bus, which is a bus that um, runs into Indigenous communities in Northern Territory where they've shared Lego um, goods to these children um, and the smiles on their faces are just fantastic um, and to me it's about the sharing of equality and the dignity that people get when they get goods that everybody else has as well so we just like to make sure that communities all around Australia get goods equal to their peers and that they feel special as well. 
um, and the goods donated to our charities are very varied. Um, they can be from clothing to health to home and toys. And when people say to me, you know, because we, we do everything except for food, um, and we just go, what do you as a person consume? Um, what do you need to get through your life? And it's the same. So that's the types of goods that we deliver to our charities. Um, and they have a wish list of the type of goods that they're asking us to go out there and source for them. Um, and we're trying to make sure that we get those goods um, so that they can help Australians um, go from surviving to thriving um, and get on with their lives to have, you know, the equality that we're seeking for them. Um, I, I touched on before the distribution channels that we do to do that, and it's the online catalogue, the local stores, the truckload, the community redistribution partners, our charities and our donors who are sharing those goods out to the community for us. One of the ones that I didn't mention was our disaster recovery efforts um, and that you know has come to light a lot in 2020 with the terrible bushfires and the floods that have been happening um, and we do play a role in that as well. In disaster recovery, Good360 helps get the right goods to the right people at the right time throughout all stages of disaster recovery. So we say that it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, people are very, very um, good at the response stage. So most people rush in at the response stage um, and maybe even 80% of people's effort is running in at the response stage and that's where all the money, the, the time, the volunteer time and a lot of goods are offered or donated at that stage. And we'd like to educate people that it should actually be the other way around and that 20% of the time goods and effort um, and dollars funds should actually be in the early stages and that 80% needs to be um, through the other six stages of the response of the disaster framework. So we've prepared a framework that is to be prepared to have response, to recover, to rebuild, refurnish and then help people relive their lives. Um, and that takes not weeks, not months and sometimes even years to help people recover from a disaster. Um, and if you put yourself in the shoes of people who have gone through a fire or a flood, imagine how long it takes to get council approvals to rebuild homes. Um, so we're there in the early days um, and then when the spotlight is actually dimmed and the media has actually left and many people are no longer focused on these disasters, we're there with those communities helping them rebuild their lives. Um, so early days, you know, we were in there with the goods that help sort of muck out those air, um, those communities um, in helping them to recover, get into temporary accommodation. So sometimes these rental properties or temporary accommodations need furniture. Um, and then when they do eventually get to rebuild their homes, we're back there with furniture to help them as well. So it's a very complicated and long process, but it is keeping the spotlight on these communities um, when often it has dimmed because there has been the next shiny light um, and the next disaster where the media has moved on. And these communities um, are feeling that people have forgotten them. Um, it's staying active with them and listening to their needs. Um, and one of the things that we did do, especially in the bushfires just recently, um, was we actually surveyed our charities and asked them what is it that you need on the ground? Um, and that was something that wasn't being asked. Most people were just sending goods. Um, and could you imagine the nightmare that that creates? Um, because, you know, the statistics coming out from our US partners is that 60% of the goods that arrive in these disasters end up going back to landfill or going to landfill because it's not the right goods arriving at the right time for the right people um, because people's good intentions we all have fantastic good intentions because our hearts are going out to people in disasters but often we've never asked the question of what communities actually need um, so it's very important to survey and ask people and be polite you know to have the manners to ask somebody what they need before you send a truckload of goods down there and that's what we're passionate about is making sure the right goods get to the right people 
at the right time and by having um, the courtesy to ask people in these communities these questions, um, they feel like they're being heard. And I think that's really, really important. Um, and that's what we're about is, is having the manners to ask people. And, and, and when we've spoken to some people, and I have personally spoken to some of the families, um, they've really appreciated um, the courtesy of being asked. We received a really great donation from Harvey Norman for disaster recovery. And here's a short video of Gen Life picking up this donation so that they could distribute it to communities. My name's Lynn and I represent Generation Life in the Riverina and it's a network of churches. We also have community centres and um, in Howlong, Holbrook, Gundagai and Albury. And the product we're getting today is heading towards Gundagai. So we've got an eight ton truck out there and it's full of approximately 12 to 15 mattresses, that's bed and bases. Um, there's also assorted furniture and um, bedroom furniture and also dining and, um, and lounge furniture. The impact areas in um, where the bushfires are around Tumbarumba, Batlow area, some parts of Adelong were around that area as well. And so Gundigo, where this product is going, is a really um, prime spot to distribute the goods. So what we will do is we will go there today, unload all the goods and then put the word out. It won't be very long before we'll have people um, calling us from our contacts saying that they would like to um, um, benefit from these products. Very big thank you to Harvey Norman and Good360 for making this match. Um, the communities in the Riverina around um, the fire affected area are going to be very blessed by this, um, particularly the mattresses. It'll be great for them to sleep on something that's dry and clean. Um, so that's what we do in terms of playing in the disaster space um, and you know we really appreciate it being able to help some of these families. It is very devastating but it is very rewarding work um, and you know we do that again with our partners. Um, we are just facilitating the good through our partners and through our collaborations and we're really proud of those collaborations. Um, and those collaborations we get to do with members like yourselves um, and we've had fantastic impact through members of APPA um, and we're really proud about that. Um, and I'd just like to share with you some of the overall impact that we've had um, and that's over a million dollars worth of impact through already 10 donors through this partnership and that's you know all 156,000 items um, and through those donations that has supported more than 500 charities nationally. So I think that's something that we're really proud of this partnership and a partnership that we could continue to grow um, and more member donors could participate if they are keen to know more about how we could help you if you have any surplus goods and you would like those matched to some of our charities or school members. Um, the good that we can do um, is very exciting and it does change people's lives and we would really like to help um, facilitate those matches. One of the examples that we had which is I think is really um, very cute and very exciting is that we did have some shirts donated, some um, plain shirts um, and ourselves, Good360, had them printed so that we could have our own branded shirts um, but not just ourselves, um, Salvation Army also had them printed um, and you can see by the photo we all look very excited in our branded t-shirts because it's a real cost to any charity to have t-shirts, have company t-shirts that you can wear um, and so they were costs that we were able to um, reduce by having shirts donated to organisations. So, you know, Good360 took advantage of that, but many of our charity members also took advantage of that and had some fun having them printed. Um, as you can see with the Salvation Army, they had them printed as a Christmas message. Um, but it, it's fantastic. So the goods that get donated are very useful um, and really help um, stretch charities' budgets. And I think that's really important because um, most charities don't have a lot of money so the good that they can do with these goods um, actually help them do more to help communities um, and another example is that you know the schools as I talk about is that we do help many schools um, not just charities um, and schools have been able to hand out hats from Epicenter 
And I think, you know, we all want to protect our children from the sun. Um, and these hats have been able to help children at school. Um, so that's fantastic. And they are very popular when they go on our website that um, the schools can match up their uniform colours with the hats that have been donated. Um, and that's fantastic for our schools to be able to do that. And again, another example was that we got some bags donated um, and people are able to use these bags to make up gift bags to be able to distribute at Christmas time. And, you know, it's again, it's just the cost of being able to purchase bags is reducing these costs and then be able to put some of the other goods that we have on our website in there to make up Christmas gifts. And, you know, again, charities have very, very small budgets, we all do, um, and it's constantly stretching those budgets and allowing them to be creative with the goods that we receive. And we know your members have lots of fantastic promotional products that charities can do creative and innovative programs with. Um, and we know our charities and schools are always very innovative when it comes to the products that, that they can receive um, through our programs. So we really thank you for being a partner with Good360 um, and knowing that already over a million dollars worth of impact has been facilitated through this partnership um, and many, many charities um, have benefited. And when we start these partnership programs, um, we always sort of say, how many charities do you know in Australia? And most people can name a dozen or so. Uh, but nobody could name 557 charities and through this partnership um, this is how many charities you've been able to support. So we congratulate you on uh, partnering and being able to facilitate that much good to that many charities. So thank you. Um, we appreciate this partnership. Um, and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to take them now for you.